Hey everyone, how's it going? thought it would be a good idea to share with some of you some of my thoughts on what it really means to say that God created the world, sort of the process by which God creates the world from the divine perspective. There's a lot of um, ambiguities about that, difficulties in understanding that, especially as it relates to divine simplicity. Um, so I, I wanted to share my thoughts about that uh, with you. Um, but, but before I uh, share my thoughts on that, if you like my content, if you like this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to get a notification when I go live or upload a video. If you want to support what I do, um, help me to keep make uh, to keep up the content creation on a consistent basis, um, patreon.com slash classical theist, great way to do that. You can find more information about that in the description. Um, and comment, let me know what you think when, uh, by the time you finish the video. Um, God bless you, and here are my thoughts on creation. God, from all eternity, decides to create. This is an eternal decree. And we can actually understand that this idea, this, this choice to create in light of divine simplicity, is not really distinguished from the divine essence itself. The divine essence itself is self-communicative, self-subsisting being. Self-subsisting being as self-communicative. There's a self-communicative uh, dimension to divine activity itself. And within God, that's the life of the Trinity. The beginning of the Son from the Father and the procession of the Holy Spirit from the Father and the Son. That is God's self-diffusion of himself within himself, his own inner self-outpouring. Now, creation, the act of creation, is not so categorically distinct from this inner Trinitarian dynamic that's found within the Godhead itself. Because the act of creation is none other than the self-outpouring, the, the, the self-communication of the divinity stemming from that same principle that underlies the logic of God's own inner Trinitarian dynamics. It's not, it, it's not so categorically different from that, and it stems from that same dynamic. So creation is nothing but the self-communication of God in the finite order, freely chosen. God sees within himself, sees within his own Son. The Father sees in the Son all the ways in which his divine being shared eternally among the divine persons. He sees all the ways in which that divine essence, divine life, is imitable in finite creation. He sees all he sees all of those ways. And according to his wisdom, he chooses from all eternity that he be imitated in such a way. For the same purpose to bring all things into loving relationship and to union with himself, which is the same purpose that underlies his Trinitarian dynamics itself, right? Like the Trinitarian dynamics happen for the sake of God's own sharing within himself the divine love. The same motivation for creation. It's the same divinely simple activity that forms the basis for creation. And the effect of that is in time. From all eternity, that decree is made, which is not fundamentally distinct from the divine essence itself, but that, that decree is made, freely chosen, and in creation, it, it has the temporal effect. It, it, it's, a, it's an eternal cause, temporal effect.